often our experience of the world is in terms of us and them. And the them is the other, and the them is not us. And somehow or another, we often translate that them into the enemy. We can slip very easily from the other to the enemy. And how do you break that process? You break that process by beginning to know the other and to discover all those things that we share across tradition, across religion, across culture, across all of the divisions that normally characterize life. So when people ask, does interreligious dialogue have implications for peace building? Of course, this is a part of the peace building process. But peace doesn't just fall from the sky. It is essential that we learn how to speak with one another. If we don't speak with one another and do that in a mutually respectful way, we don't have any real understanding of each other. And it's only as new relationships are built between the peoples of the world that we can move towards a more genuine and lasting peace.